I'm Triple J, and I'm here to talk action figures, or the lack thereof for Black Widow. Now, if, like me, you've seen Marvel Studios' latest movie, Avengers Age of Ultron, you probably had a good time, like I did. And if you're also like me, you probably picked up the figure of Black Widow that came with your drink. Now, Black Widow has had a bit of a rough goal of it in the Avengers. When she's not being shortchanged by some fans who call her contributions useless, she's had a script written by the writer of Guardians of the Galaxy, Nicole Perlman, that's been sidelined seemingly forever, despite massive fan support. And there's been some rather questionable writing in the Age of Ultron with regards to her character. On top of all that, she's not had the wealth of merchandising that her male co-leads had. When I looked on Amazon, the about the only single figure that I could find of her was of an import from Japan of all places, as well as the Hot Toys line, which are really wonderfully done, very detailed, but ultimately very expensive action figures, reaching upwards of up to $250. That's not something a kid on a weekly allowance can afford. But how much worse can it get? After all, this is par for a course for the treatment of leading ladies in Marvel movies, as a lack of merchandise for Gamora of Guardians of the Galaxy can attest to. Well, how about erasing Black Widow from a pivotal point in the movie, and replacing her with two other Avengers? Featured in the trailers themselves is a moment where Black Widow exits a Quinjet on a motorcycle, picks up Captain America's shield, and does an act of superheroism that prevents Ultron from achieving his goal. But according to Hasbro, in their release of the Quinjet toy, that role went to Captain America. And Mattel released one as well, but they replaced Black Widow with Iron Man? Iron Man? One of the Avengers that can fly, and who, at that point in the movie, is nowhere near Black Widow and her motorcycle awesomeness. This is all the more infuriating because of how the toy makers, either through their decision or Disney's decision, decided to just replace Black Widow with two Avengers at random. Now, whenever children, both boys and girls alike, want to recreate that scene, they simply can't. Heck, the article that I read about this said that any other Black Widow figure won't fit into either of the Avenger Quinjet toys. It's a sad, casual indication of the pervasiveness of that little dirty word that makes people look at you funny when you say it. Sexism. The, the other dirty words are feminism and racism. Young girls especially will want a figure of Black Widow to play with in order to recreate their favorite scenes from the movie. But there aren't enough figures of them, or they come in a four-pack, forcing them to pay extra money for characters they may or may not be interested in. Heck, even Mark Ruffalo, awesome dude and talented actor, just all-around wonderful person, tweeted that he would like more Black Widow merchandise for his young daughters to play with. And all I have to say to the companies is, why don't you want money? Or is it girl money that you don't want? After all, it wasn't too long ago that Disney said the reason why they weren't marketing to girls as strongly as they are to boys is because they have the princess line. And that they bought Marvel in order to cement the boys market. Now, while I'm none too pleased with Hasbro's part in this, at least with their Transformers line, there's been a rise in female Transformers marketed to boys and girls. That's been spurred by a rise in female Transformer characters in their IDW comics, as well as their various animated series. There's also any number of popular anime series that market to boys and girls, such as, well, Sailor Moon, Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online, you know, I could go on and on and on. So here's something that I would like to say to DC and the WB. Marvel and Disney are dropping the ball on this. You can pick it up and run with it. After all, you seem to be showing more of a willingness to make action figures based on your female characters, such as the trio of characters from Lauren Falls' animated shorts, Super Best Friends Forever. And while a bit pricey, I paid about $50 for this one, this is super awesome, and I love it. 
Also, while I'm not a big fan of the Amikami designs, the fact that you made a series of toys based on that comic line, that's awesome. There's also Play Kai Arts, which features characters such as Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Harley Quinn, and Catwoman. Now, with Vixen getting an animated series based on the CW universe of the Arrow and Flash, as well as CBS's upcoming series based on Supergirl, you get a chance to really market and merchandise some wonderful figures for women and girls. And boys too, trust me, we'd like to have them as well. Just don't go too far in the other direction and make figures with some stupid design, like squishable boobs, <laughs> because that would be silly and stupid and slightly creepy and perverted. Ha! <laughs> oh, good lord, Hideo Kojima, what the fuck are you doing? I'm Triple J, and that's all I got left to say. Take care!